Hello everyone, is please play my game here, and I've had a couple of people, a couple of people on Discord ask me how I made the, the ranged enemy or the generic army man with gun. Uh, uh, as you can see, uh, he can attack from afar. And in this video, I'm going to show you just exactly how I can do it. So, what you will need to do this is uh, just four things. First, the falling zombie, so that it tracks you. Don't forget to unanchor un un his limbs, because for some reason it's anchored right here. Uh, next, we need the region pad, so that it, uh, it regenerates the bullet. Uh, lab of brick so it damages the player and we need the uh, battle armor so it gets rid of the, uh, the actually the battle armor is optional because it, it might like you know bug is it may you know be bad for like games that has like an armor thing you know it there's a thing that increases your your player's health also yes something is playing in the background it's like TV but is this hope the background anyway uh, we're gonna make an archer dude yeah and you you're gonna and feel free to fall follow along but yeah uh, we need to raise his arms up you can do this by duplicating arms rename it if you wanna then um, I think uh, yeah, we need to add a mesh, a block mesh, mesh type brick. All right, just gonna drag it there. There we go. Now we're gonna weld it so that it sticks to the. To the the zombie. You can you can weld one side, but both sides is just just to make it just to make sure. So now we make the right arm invisible, and voila, we now have an arm that's raised. Now we'll need to do something with said arm, and that is to make a weapon. Now, uh, since we're making a bowman, and we're gonna use the slingshot mesh for the for the weapon. Okay then. So yeah, now we have our archer. And it's just a it's just a model, it doesn't actually do anything yet. So don't forget to weld it. Now the first thing you you need to do is to make the, the, the region button stick to the to the to the zombie. And we're gonna rename it to range. And by the way, uh Follow range should be like. Let's for example, it's like 40, right? You need to make. You know, 40 is too long. Let's just make it 20. Uh, so you need to double it because. so that it sticks to the arm the range has to be you know on the um, in the center of the of the, the the zombie so that it bounces it out and the zombie doesn't like fall or something uh, let's take for example this I forgot to unanchor See? Oh, 
or that happens you know so yeah make it like uh, center of it oh yeah I almost forgot make like the region button yeah turn off this and make the cooldown whatever you want it's, uh, take it like a fire rate if you will Remove previous model. Uh, turn it on if you don't if you don't want the bottle armor, you know. And uh, the alcohol doesn't matter. So, anyways, the bullet should be right on the the the, the zombie. Should be the same size at the range, but like it, it also, yeah, like that. Now you also place the battle armor on the on the bullet. And you just there we go. Now yeah. Let me just recolor it so I know what it is. There we go. So what will happen? Oh yeah, I almost forgot to rip it. Don't forget to like put the bullet into the battle armor so it despawns. Oh yeah, I forgot. Make it so that the the zombie walks really, really slowly, like 0.01. All right. So, player walks near the the zombie, shrinks the player. Player touches the region pad which regenerates these two make it make sure that it, it doesn't collide or is anchored so that it falls down all right the bullet will hit the player damages them uh, put the damage in like five or like turn up the put the damage low um, then Turn up affected NPCs and ignore a force field if you wanna. I'm gonna turn it off. Now battle armor uh, affects the NPCs. Nada. Can't lower health. No. And max health or 100 because that's the base player health for every game. Destroy and pick up. Uh, yeah. You leave it on. Now we're gonna take this and put that. Uh, Cut it and put it in here. Paste into. Turn it. Turn play on. Remove on. And let's try it out. Oh, I forget. Turn turn the coll collision off uh, on the region pad as well. So yeah, now it works. Uh, yeah, you should make the, the range thingy weld it to the, like the torso instead because the arm will like m you make it stick like here the arm will like move it up and down and it will look really weird as you saw before uh, yeah if it sticks to the torso like sticks to the torso and since the torso doesn't move the the region pad will move weirdly as well so yeah let's let's try it out now and see the zombie doesn't move whoa Look at that. It hurts you. Now you just all you gotta do is to make it invisible. And you're almost done. Just rename the zombie. And uh, uh, put the uh, you can change the damage if you wanna. I'd like to set it to zero because this is range enemy. It already deals enough damage. And health to like whatever. And I think we're about done. Yeah. There's our archer. It shoots you from a distance. No, nothing weird going on. And yeah, it works. Just about anyways, the bullet can be random. Yeah, that's uh, that's it about this tutorial. 
I'll make like an, another tutorial on how to like properly make uh, enemy uh, enemy models because as you can see there's a lot of like things going on with this with this guy uh, rotations and stuff he has a hat as well but what you probably learned is that you can weld parts to certain limbs to make it look you know like a certain way so yeah I guess we're done now how uh, you figure out how to make stuff with make something out of this uh, so yeah that's about it uh, I hope uh, I hope to see more enemy variety and the few in future games so yeah peace this dude yeah